Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're looking again at Birra Moretti La Raza imported. I wanted to do an examination of it, but no one can find it except Eric in Massachusetts. And he said he'd, how do you say it? I drank a bit last night and I don't feel very beery today. So in other words, you drank too much and you feel sick. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I said I'll just do a video on this beer, this great beer. Uh, quala, qualita e tradizione, quality and tradition, La Rosa Biero Moretti, named after the guy, Mr. Moretti, that started the company in 1859 in the town of Udina, Italy. But actually in 1859 it was Udina, Austria. <laughs> part of the Austrian Empire and they called it Biden. Weeden. Weeden, I guess is how they said it in German, but it's Udina and it was annexed by Italy during the war between Italy and Austria. The war of uh, Italian independence. Um, 1866 is when Italy snatched it. <clears throat> it originally for hundreds of years Udina had been a part of the Republic of Venice. Venice, a city-state, you know about Venice, and they had their own empire until they were overthrown by France in 1797. But anyway, uh, was acquired by Heineken International in 1996. They sold off the brewery in Udina. Actually, my uncle is married to a woman from Germany named Udina. Uh, Side the point. Uh, and they moved, I guess, all the production down to Rome. It says, uh, brewed and bottled by Heineken Italia in Via Sperano New commu Commune. Okay, 7.2% uh, okay. alcohol. Now they say they use double malt in a special. A hop that's extremely aromatic and gives it a particular bitterness. We are about 3, 3 p.m., close to 3 p.m. It's about 70. They said it would get up to 74, but I believe it's, I don't need this on the shirt, it's about 76. It's heading into 80. Um, there's a regular Birra Moretti that we also get in America. So we get the like 4.5% Birra Moretti, regular lager. This is the Doppelbach. Okay, La Rosa, the red, Doppelbach. And you'll see it's a Dunkel beer. Now they say put it in a stem glass. I don't have a stem glass, and on their website they show a beautiful, expensive stem glass. This Doppelbach is uh, more in line with like the Paulana Salvatore, the original Doppelbach, very similar. Um, you can see it has a thick. Look at all those. I'm going to eat some of those fruits. A thick beige head and a rust red appearance. Very bubbly on this etched glass, which was actually given to me by a Heineken distributor. He gave me a four set. They said the man drinking the beer on the label, the story with that is the nephew of the founder of the company was at a bar somewhere in that town, Undina, and he saw this man in 1942 drinking beer and he used him as a model for the label and the man said all he wanted in return was some more beer. So, <laughs> so this is like the town guy that drinks a lot at the bar. Okay, anyway. Um, 330 milliliter bottle. We don't get any bigger bottles here. It's that European brown bottle, but if you look at it closely, it'll have some green aspects to it, like a greenish brown. <coughs> Dop. Now this is a Colt 45 double malt malt liquor, which yeah, it's kind of a rarity there. <laughs> They're using a double malt. 
thing with probably a lot of corn syrup, brewer's syrup, dextrose, maltose. Um, it has some similarities to this in the flavor, kind of that, but that's a Hellas, you know, bright. This is a dark Doppelbach. Oh, also, if you uh, want to get some cool cans, maybe the beer is kind of dull. Although I drank one last night, and today with lunch it was pleasant. Got the fishing cans from Keystone Light. Four different fish. Uh, I noticed these companies, these major brewers, make big time money selling these uh, collectible cans. Especially cores. They're just like constantly changing their can and bottle designs, and people just snap them up so they can collect them. This, and there, this website is so extensive, you know, for Abiro Moretti. And then there's the Italian website, which shows way more than just two. There's all these re regional beers, uh, some other specialties, even a Rattler. So um, it's a pretty big deal uh, for what they ha have available. We just get, like I say, the two. And there's all kind of food pairings. There's extensive recipe lists. They have all kind of photos and ideas for cooking with their beers and they suggest all kind of different things with this so pasta like a lot of rich red sauce I think this would have gone well with that spaghetti meatballs that we had yesterday at um and that chicken parmesan that we had yesterday at Randazzo's they might serve beer more already there I don't know about the doppelbach but it's rich in the aroma I mean it's some raisin dark dark bready malts don't think they're using any rice or corn adjunct. Just water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. Don't know what the hops are. They just said they're particularly aromatic. That's probably why you're picking up a lot of rich aromas. So grain, biscuit, raisin, plum. There's a fly that's heading toward that bottle. Yeah, you smell all that rich stuff, huh, fly? Uh, it's really a fantastic beer in the aroma. I mean, you just you just want to smell it, but you got to drink it, right? <laughs> if you're just a Bud Light or Keystone Light drinker, it's going to throw you because it's syrupy. It's it's got a high, medium, almost heavy mouth feel. It's got a pretty good amount of bitterness. I would think on the bitterness scale. It's probably three and a half out of five hop cones. Sweetness scale is probably close to four, maybe four out of five sugar cubes. So it's a pretty sweet beer. And like I say, it's very rich. Um, almost toward chewy. It's not soup. You know, it's kind of dry though in the finish. Um, and these lagers tend to have that crispness. That's what's so good about the lagers. Um, beautiful label. Beautiful bottle cap. It's not too expensive. Probably pay eight to nine dollars a six pack. You can get samples pretty cheap, like singles. Comes to Kansas City Southern. Um, It's, now you say, well, it's not much like the Colt 45 double malt. It isn't really. That's got a thinner body, lower alcohol level. It, there's something about that double malt. It gives it that kind of uh, chewiness, so to speak. It's, it's, it's unique, so if you haven't had it, it's hard to like grasp what I'm talking about, I guess. Look at that, that head. That, uh, spongy head. That bitterness and that rich syrupy and that is from those double malts that they're using that fairly dark roasted malt sweet <laughs> I tell you what this is one of the great beers in the world I think it's more pleasant and I'm not ripping on Salvatore because that's like you know the classic right the first dub, uh, double Bach double Bach right Bach strong beer round six 
5.8 to 6.5 percent alcohol. Doppelbach seven percent and above. I mean, you can get up to the, the Santa Claus Doppelbach, which is 14 percent. That's a true knockout beer. You're not going to drink it fast like I'm drinking this. You're going to really sip it. I mean, it's going to spew back out. You gulp that, it's coming up. But it's rich, and it's nice to have once, maybe twice a year. You could have this once a week, and it'd be okay. Maybe two in a setting. In one sitting, I mean. If you had more than two, it'd be a little too heavy, a little too rich, a little too gamey maybe you probably want the if you were in a really session you'd want the regular beer room already which is a, a beautiful beer too i mean just great so people rip on heineken you know it's fashionable to say heineken heineken i'd rather drink water than heineken you'd really rather drink water okay well maybe you like water i like water um but um yeah that's why heineken is really popular all over the world because people hate it you know they just hate drinking it it's, you know, it's horrible. Um, and the Heineken Light, and the Heineken Dark, and the Heineken Tarvabok that you get over in uh, the Netherlands, and the, um, this, and the, all the beers they own around the world, you know, the Heineken Mexico, the Tecate, and the, the Dos Equis, and the Dos Equis Ambar, the original Dos Equis, and the, um, you know, the Indio, and um, the uh, Calic, Calic, from uh, the Bahamas and the Kalik Bach, you know, that strong Kalik, the uh, Kalik Gold. And um, the Almatza from Lebanon, a Heineken brand. I mean, people drink all that because they hate it. I mean, it's just horrible beer. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. No, I mean, it's because it's great beer. It's fantastic beer. And they don't use bad ingredients, they use really good ingredients it's obvious you drink it they're using it's a huge company they got the stroke and the money to demand it you know when they get the rice for the almatza and the barley malt and the hops and the water and the yeast it better be perfect i mean like it better be perfect and, and the companies that are supplying it are going to make sure it's perfect because uh it's a major contract and they want to keep it so You, you could say uh, you're just in their pocket. You, they give you glasses so you love it. You're thinking in reverse because I loved it first and then they gave me the glasses because actually, you want to know the true story? The guy was going to throw them out. True story. It was during Christmas. He said, uh, I'm just going to throw these out. It was like, I don't know. They were the display or they were going to sell them or something. And I said, well, don't throw them out. I'll take them. And he said, well, I have and so the, this uh, guy in authority said, yeah, he can have them, I don't care. So, uh, you know, anyway, enough rambling. Um, yeah, it's true. I really can't think of any Heineken brandy beer I've ever had that I didn't love. True story. Huh. Okay, backtrack. Indio. Uh, Indio was a little dull. Okay, I guess it was a little dull. And... They contacted me and they were like, we want to send you some. And I was like, okay. I'd already had it and then I never got it. Maybe they watched my video where I said it's kind of dull. And they thought, oh, scrap that. He's going to say it's dull. Um, great stuff. You want a great beer. Let's just focus on this. Let's not go to the world of Heineken. But it's a fascinating world. Let's just focus on this. You want a great beer? Like one of the great beers in the world? Get this, you'll love it. I believe you will love it. I'm loving it. I love this weather. Y'all come on down to South Houston. I'm not gonna rate it because I've already done videos. <clears throat> I'm telling you, it's one of the world's great beers, so that's what it is. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, so. Mama, mama, mama.